Stu from Stu's Reviews got in touch with me boasting about how his Echo Show 10 had already arrived, knowing full well mine wasn't coming for another month. <gasps> no! That is cool! Look at that! So cool! I think I'm in love! Wow! Wow! Fantastic! So I did what any sensible person would do and broke into his house. <laughs> Stu has actually kindly lent me his Echo Show 10 and I am enormously grateful. It's very stupid of him because all YouTubers secretly hate each other and he's never going to see it again. Because look at it! Look at his ridiculous shininess and stupid spinny head! The Echo Show 10 is the best speaker that Amazon have released to date. It does absolutely everything I could want a smart speaker to do. I haven't seen a review yet which discusses the things that I personally think truly matter about this speaker though. Today I'm going to be taking you through some actual technical tests where you can hear for yourself the difference between this thing and the Echo Show. This will surprise you. Did that work? 10 things that might shock you about the Echo Show? Is this, is this good bait? <laughs> it sounds great, it looks all right, it's functional, it's fun, and it's pushing the boundaries of innovation to their absolute limits. So here's five reasons you shouldn't buy one. But you still will, because it's awesome. If you grew up in the 80s, you'll remember a show called The Telebooks. And I think Amazon's design team were fully dialed in to the Telebug's aesthetic when they gathered round the table. Right now, this thing looks like the future. But I think in a year's time, we're going to be looking at it going, why is that bezel so ridiculously massive? And I think this is intentional. In a year's time, Amazon will be selling us the exact same thing all over again, calling it a Gen 2, and it'll be a bezel-less version. And we'll all be going, oh, I want that one now. This is what they do. They eke out their technology in little dribs and drabs so that we'll just keep potting out the money so that I get poorer and Jeff Bezos gets more yachts. Not enough yachts. It all just seems a little bit like... What's that thing? Oh yeah, corporate greed! I kind of like the way it looks right now, but Amazon know we're gonna put these things in our kitchens. So why is the speaker grill just desperately ready to collect grease? In a year's time, I will have fallen out of love with this thing. And they're counting on that because that's when the Gen 2 is gonna come out. The new craplet from Amazon. All the functionality of a tablet, only demented and weird. Hey craplet. Play the latest episode of Stu's Reviews on YouTube. Now searching for skewered baboons in the Silk Browser! Craplet, because our playground spat with Google is more important than your user experience. These companies, when they first started putting screens onto their smart speakers, they just remade the tablet, only worse. When I first saw the Echo Show, I was like, oh good, a tablet with none of the functionality. Perfect. I don't care whose fault this is. I don't care that Amazon and Google are locked in some ridiculous playground spat. All I care about is getting my money's worth. I've written in my notes here, slappy hands baby fight. That's what this is. Google and Amazon are locked in a slappy hands baby fight and they need to get over themselves. I really wish that a governing body would step in and say, the general public should not be suffering for your stupid slappy hands and your ridiculous baby faces. I want YouTube! I want YouTube on my Amazon Echo for God's sake! I want YouTube! <laughs> its spinny exorcist head is a really cool gimmick. So much so that as soon as I saw it, I knew how pointless it was, and I just threw my money at it anyway. But unless you're gonna put the Echo Show in the middle of a room, then it's only really gonna move a couple of inches and it's gonna make no difference to your life whatsoever. 
Think about where your plug sockets are in your house, and now think about the location that you're probably going to put this thing. It's in a corner, isn't it? It's not in the middle of the room, is it? Is it in the middle of a room? Yes. No, it's not! Amazon literally had to invent a kitchen that had magic plug sockets on the side of their central reservation just to make the advert. Seriously, where is this family's plug sockets? I watched a review on Amazon of this guy like trying to tell us how excited he was because he's got them side by side. He's like, Ooh, look, look at the difference. And he unwittingly proved that there is no difference. And don't get me wrong, I love it. I but you just understand why you want it. You want it so that when your mate comes around, he goes, Why is its head moving, man? It's not even a person. And Exorcist mode is unfortunately where most of the money has gone. This thing is £240 for two reasons. The first one is Jeff Bezos. I don't have enough yachts. And the second reason is that Exorcist mode is luxury beyond belief. The motor is entirely silent the movement completely smooth, and the way it follows you about is probably the creepiest thing Amazon have ever done. When an asshole is detected, a dystopian attack helicopter will be dispatched to get rid of the burglar. No, we're not joking. Look, this is life now. Dystopian attack helicopters, because people that steal stuff should just f off. The second creepiest thing Amazon has ever done. Welcome to Mastermind. Today's contestant is Paul Hibbert from the East Midlands, and his specialist subject is the bleeding obvious. Yes, I know that's bleeding obvious, but this is one of the touted benefits of this thing. You should be able to drop in and have a look around your house, which is great if your burglar is a munchkin. Using the app, you can rotate this thing in circles, but you can't tilt it up and down. You can only make that adjustment manually, which means if you happen to have left this in the wrong position, congratulations, you just filmed a burglar's balls. He'll probably sue you. That's the kind of country you live in. I'm not gonna exaggerate just for effect. This probably won't be a problem, probably. If you've tilted it to face your face, then that's probably the last position it was going to be in anyway, and you're probably going to be looking at burglars' faces, not burglars' balls. <laughs> I just feel like for £240, maybe they could have motorised the tilt as well as the pan. It's £240. Me and Stu actually disagree on this point. Stu says that £240 is actually cheap for a device such as this. I found a 40-inch 4K TV with Android and Google Assistant built in from a reputable manufacturer for £10 less than this device costs. A 40-inch telly! Oh my god, you're comparing apples and oranges! I hate Paul Hibber! You're right. This might seem like a complete 180, but I actually love this device, and I think it's worth every penny, because it sounds amazing. Amazon have been focusing on entirely the wrong thing in all of their material. They're, oh, it's got a spinny head! Who cares about its stupid spinny head? There's, doesn't matter. The fact is that this little speaker actually rivals the Echo Show. And no, I'm not joking. I've compared them side by side and it actually has a little bit more punch when you hear the kick drum playing and the cymbals are more clear. Sure, it's not as loud as the Echo Show and the Echo Show has a more wide tonal range to the bass end of the speaker, but this little speaker actually rivals the Echo Show. If you've not met Derek before, he is my binaural microphone. Stick some decent headphones on now and hear for yourself.
is, this is actually an incredible device that sounds amazing and does everything that you want a smart speaker to do. Sure, £240 is a lot of money, but it's a good 10 inch screen with a beautiful sounding speaker attached to it. Don't buy it because it's got a spinny head. Buy it because it sounds incredible. Buy it because it's got a built-in Zigbee hub which is going to take care of all your smart home needs for years to come. Ah, oh, the Zigbee! Buy it because your missus won't let you put a TV in the kitchen and this thing has totally fooled Nisha. Your missus. Buy it because its 13 megapixel camera makes your video calls look incredible. Buy it because Jeffrey P. Bezos just needs one more yacht. I never have enough yachts. Most importantly, buy it through my affiliate link. <laughs> there are links in the description as usual as to where you can pick up everything I featured today. If you haven't seen Stu from Stu's Reviews, he is one of my favorite YouTubers. He's another fellow uk Ian however it is we describe ourselves in this country. And I love him to bits. He's the best guy in the world. I will send his Amazon Echo show back, I promise at some point. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon. Without those guys, I wouldn't be able to buy this thing. I know Stu lent it to me, but I bought it because I was going to review it and they made that happen. They keep this channel going, they are the heart and soul of everything I do. If you want to be one of those guys, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I'll flipping well love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams, come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. Dude, your robot's like totally watching me, and it's not even a person. <laughs> Why is he American? He'll probably sue you. That's the kind of... <laughs> <laughs> now searching for skewered baboons in the silk browser. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's that noise? I hate Paul Hibbert! <laughs>